We're back to Neil Haley Show. I'm excited to welcome the program, the author of the Hollow Man series and also CEO of Seniors Publishing and Hollow Man Publishing, Paul Hollis. Paul, how are you? And you've got to be really excited about a book that's been out forever and now is really doing well with your fans even more as you keep growing more and more raving fans about the book. The, the, it's really becoming a, an author's journey the last six months, six months for seven months for you. Yeah, it definitely has a the the first the first book in the series, The Hollow Man, is uh, is uh, really getting a lot of attention now, basically, and and, uh, and, and it's a uh, uh, you know to me it's like oh finally you know we're somebody's paying attention to it, but but uh, actually you know I mean it, it it once once people get into it and and I've heard this probably fifty times this last week once people get into it they they won't, they can't stop reading so it, it's a good thing. It's a great thing. And then you get those and you just get those more and more people out there doing that. And uh, we just keep talking about it. And you never know when that virality hits in so many ways. But we're talking about book three today. Why? Because book two was on in your blog this week. So give us an update by not giving things away what each book is about. And then we'll talk more about book three today. Uh, the uh, the first book is, is really about... Uh, uh, the main character chasing down uh, a a known terrorist, basically, uh, and uh, what we what we thought was his plan at the beginning was not his plan at the end. So I'll, I'll just leave it at that, and it's just kind of like chasing him through Spain and France. Um, the um, the second book, London Bridge is Falling Down, is is all about uh, in the early seventies uh, the the British were were too nice to 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 call people terrorists, so they so they just referred to the IRA bombings as the troubles. And so that's what that book is all about is to, to, uh, under, to is more understanding about the troubles of wh what caused them and, and actually what they were kind of going after, which was another sort of a uh, underlying plot there. So, and the, the third book surviving Prague is, is um, actually about where my partner uh, Zita uh, is um uh, accused of murder in behind the Iron Curtain in Prague, where she was a uh, foreign service uh, operative there. Um, and so I took it upon myself to sort of break into <laughs> an Iron Curtain country. And, and uh, uh, most people are actually trying to break out of them in those days. But uh, I had I broke in, which which surprised myself and and the border guards. But um, uh, and, and that that uh, story there. That book there is all about uh, getting uh, getting Zeta away from the murder charges and uh, and then stopping another plot uh, that uh, I won't get into it because that's the, the basis of the whole story. So in book three, what people are going to see is this progression to potential book four. But just tell us the characters in book three. Are they different than book two and book one? Um, the, the main characters are the same. Uh, all the others are are different because of the different locations in that. But uh, all three all three have the same the same characters in the same main two characters uh, and some some uh, supplemental uh, characters as well. But but mostly uh, mostly new characters that you come across in in your uh, daily life in Europe at that time. And who are those main characters? Um, I mean, Don, the the you. Jock, what? Go. Yeah, uh, the the main character is called Doc, uh, which is uh, which is a nickname that I kind of picked up in high school. Uh, so so that was where I used that, and um, uh, and then Zeta was uh, is a it was a foreign service operative uh, for MI six at the time. And then the and then the bad guy is uh, in in this one. Yeah, uh, it, uh, it's um. He's sort of unidentified, really. So uh, he uh, the, the the main bad guy, but there are other bad guys around him. One one being the 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 uh, the, the foreign the Russian foreign minister of uh, Czechoslovakia at the time. And so, uh, but he he played a, a lesser role than the than the psychopath, which which I encountered many times during that during that visit. So let's talk about the MI six real quick for us for for our, our listeners out there and viewers. Uh... Did is that real that you Zeta was an MI6 when you were working with her as a red shirt? Yes. yes. Yeah. So she's the one that puts you in the line of danger all the time. 
no, no, I, I put myself in the line of danger. <laughs> She's the one that got me out mostly. <laughs> so, so it was, um, yeah, different. So she different employed things. you. Pardon me? She employed you. Zita employed you. No, uh, she was just um, kind of trying to help me out on things that I was supposed to do. Uh, and when she had downtime, she was able to uh, to uh, help me uh, stay alive, basically, as, as a as a red shirt guy. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, it, it was uh, not her. They were not her um, uh, assignments. They were all mine. And she was just trying to help me with with her assets and, and herself. Was she a love interest in real life too? Yeah. What what do you, what do you, what is uh what that that's interesting, right? But what does Zeta think about this being out there in the real world? Um I yeah, I I've, I've talked to her a couple of times about them and and uh she she's actually um uh impressed that I remember so much. <laughs> so <laughs> so um yeah, but uh yeah, no she she doesn't mind at all that the, of course Zeta is, is not a real name. Um, it, but it does happen to be her comp, one of her many confirmation names, um, and it, and it turns out actually that in Greek Zeta means uh, searcher, seeker, um, which I thought was kind of interesting for the character itself. So so that I, I used her that name, and she said that's fine. So she really killed people. Yeah. Yeah. And with, how was she skilled? Could she have killed you? Could she have? Yeah. Any any time. <laughs> hundred times a day. <laughs> so what were you putting yourself in this position to be out there like again, like Jack Ryan? Because that's really what you did is you, you put yourself out there like Jack Ryan. Because Jack yeah, Ryan I, was I not really but he learned to fight, but he wasn't really that either. He was an analyst. Yeah, I mean, yeah, basically that. I I didn't I didn't have all the assets that, that Jack did, of course, because he's he's he was. Uh, they've actually modernized him. I think he, uh, the original Jack Ryan was um, came came along maybe in the eight seventies, eighties, somewhere around there. But but uh, yeah, he had a, he had a lot of uh, assets in, within the CIA and, and and all that sort of thing. But I I didn't have any of that. So so it was um, yeah you yeah in those days a lot less um, uh, there were a lot less rules. Let's say in those days it was it was a little bit more cowboyish if you want to say that but not really that i mean there were some you know rules if you made mistakes you died you know sort of thing but but otherwise um, um nowadays uh there are so many so many government levels of government that you have to go through for okays and to okay an assignment and do this and do that whereas back then they they said yeah just follow this guy you know there's no law against following a guy there's no law against looking up information on you know in, in the uh in the libraries on on people etc so so do what you need to do and, and that's you know that's how it all came out in the books right and she's sort of um see sort of took pity on me i i guess it was i would i would rather it it seemed like love, but it was probably more of pity to uh, to to, to uh, keep me alive. And and um, so uh, yeah, I mean that that was basically her role was really a non non combatant as far as I was concerned, and and the and the U.S. was concerned, she didn't exist, same kind of thing. So so yeah, she just helped me out and uh, saved my saved my life more than once. How could you have gone in such an exciting life to the I working for IBM? Uh, you, uh, well, you, eventually, you know, you, um, you know, in those days when you're like in the twenties, you didn't really think you were going to live to, to be 30, right? Cause then you, then you would turned into Soylent Green or something of that sort, right? Uh, into food for the younger people. But, but, um, as, as you get older and all that sort of thing, you maybe learn more. I don't know, you know, get my brain got fully developed after a while. And I thought, well, you know, maybe I will live after 30. So, so I actually got um, too, too old to keep running basically, which is like 26, 27, I guess it was. And, uh, uh, and then, uh, so, so I just kind of got out of it and, and uh, came back to America for a while and ended up with IBM. Okay. Which, which, which where, but by, by, at IBM though, I ended up, uh, being in charge of their worldwide uh, video surveillance operation, so um, so it kind of kind of fit in after after a few years. I, I got into that, or man, after many years, I got into it. That could be and, a uh, book. That could be a book that you could go in that you work for IBM, but make it really like 
not real and just keep the characters going as you get into video <laughs> surveillance and you maybe turn bad maybe doc will turn bad or or will have to be back in again they, they do that stuff so the best place and then what's up now new book coming right there is a new book coming um and uh because i i sort of left the last the, the third book hanging uh where where now the the american government is is also after me so not only the russians and the and all all foreign spies etc uh, and foreign criminals i should say uh, but now the u.s government is after me as well so so that's what the third the fourth book is going to be about is uh is playing both sides against the middle and kind of walking a type rope uh, uh so that i don't get killed so. all right best place to go is the hollow man series.com also follow paul hollis in all different places you're looking to publish a book contact paul today he'll get it done and he'll get you the success that paul's having but that's the thing. You contact you, you. You're tired of just running out a book and nothing happened. Contact Paul today. Appreciate it, Paul. Thank you. Thanks very much for having right. me. You're listening and watching the Neil Haley Show. And we'll be back in just a moment.